St. Louis men have pleaded guilty regarding their role in a deadly drug gang and now face at least 15 years in prison. The plea hearings of Timothy Lamont Rush, 53, and Andre Alfonso Rush, 54, were not on the public docket last week. The case involves the murder of one man accused of cooperating with law enforcement and another killed because the conspirators thought authorities couldn't use evidence linked to him if he was dead, plea agreements obtained Friday by the Post-Dispatch say. Timothy Rush pleaded guilty in U.S. District Court to four felonies, conspiracy to distribute five kilograms or more of cocaine, conspiracy to distribute more than one kilo of heroin, and attempting to possess with the intent to distribute both drugs. He will face at least 15 years in prison when sentenced later this year. Andre Rush, of St. Louis, pleaded guilty to his role in a deadly drug gang. Andre Rush pleaded guilty to three charges, conspiracy to distribute 5 kilograms or more of cocaine, conspiracy to distribute more than 1 kilo of heroin and a gun charge linked to the two deaths. Both sides in his case have agreed to recommend 25 years in prison. The plea agreements of both men say they were involved in a drug trafficking ring that brought heroin, cocaine, meth and other drugs to the St. Louis area from 2009 to 2015. That ring was run by Dion L. Cuffey Gatling, who is also a co-defendant in their case, the plea says. Both Andre and Timothy Rush dealt drugs and stored them for the ring, their pleas say. Those pleas list various drug dealing activities and two murders. Gatling drove Andre Rush and two other men to a St. Louis clinic on April 5, 2010, where Rush pointed out Theodos Howard, Andre Rush's plea says. The two other men fatally shot Howard, 41, according to the plea. Gatling arranged the murder because Howard cooperated with authorities in the drug prosecution of Gatling's brother Darren Joanny Gatling, who died of an asthma attack in prison, the plea says. Howard was in a halfway house after his release from prison. In February 2013, Gatling met with someone in Atlanta who he thought was linked to a drug cartel and arranged for the delivery of two kilos of heroin, the police say. It's my town. I can do whatever I wanna do, he boasted about the drugs he distributed, saying he specialized in cocaine, the police say. On February 7, 2013, Timothy Rush and the fourth co-defendant, Lorenzo Gibbs, swapped a Toyota Camry for a Cadillac Escalade that they believed contained the heroin in a hidden compartment, the pleas say. As Rush was returning from the meeting in Memphis, Tennessee, a Missouri Highway Patrol trooper stopped him on Interstate 55, Drug Enforcement Administration agents seized the purported drugs, the plea says. Gatling next tried to arrange the delivery of 15 kilos of cocaine, but Gibbs and Timothy Rush were both arrested at the meeting site in unincorporated South St. Louis County. After the conspirators became aware of the federal investigation, Andre Rush fatally shot Terence Morgan, 41, on May 2, 2013, in an alley in St. Louis Fox Park neighborhood, the plea says. Gatling thought federal investigators had wiretapped Morgan's phone and couldn't use those recordings in court if Morgan was dead, the pleas say. Gatling and Gibbs, both 50, have pleaded not guilty. The four men were indicted nearly five years ago, but their cases had been delayed by a de-sex scandal in Atlanta that defense lawyers said should result in evidence in the St. Louis cases being tossed out of court. In a series of hearings in late 2016 and early 2017 and in court documents, defense lawyers accused a former D supervisor in Atlanta of having an affair with the confidential informer who helped set up Gatling. The supervisor, Keith Cromer, denied having sex with the informer but admitted that the relationship violated D's policy prohibiting more than an arm's length relationship with sources. Cromer also denied falsifying reports to justify a total of $212,000 in payments to her. Although finding that Cromer's testimony was not entirely credible, 
U.S. Magistrate Judge Shirley Padmore Mensa ruled that the defense had failed to prove that any government agent or any informant acting as a government agent deliberately or recklessly included a false statement in an affidavit that led to a wiretap that led to Gatling's indictment. D. Agents in St. Louis have not been accused of misconduct in the case. They were aware of Gatling from other investigations and corroborated the information provided by the informer, the ruling says. A photo of Timothy Rush was not available.